Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Here we have the Price Coursera Digno 902KC. I know many of you have been waiting for this review, and all I can tell you is that it's a very, very good device. Um, number one, it does work here in the United States with T-Mobile. You do have to finick a little bit with the APN settings, but it recognizes the SIM card as long as you get an approved and unlocked device. I recommend that you get it directly from KyoX, uh, as they will unlock it and give you everything. They do have used versions and they have new versions. I bought my brand new just to make sure that everything through the process went well, and they are very communicative via email. Uh, so you can get uh, some of that stuff. So here you have settings, phone, TV, tools, data, service, calculator, camera, alarm, mail, browser, calendar. Your mail right there is uh, essentially your um, um, SMS messages. And of course you have a couple of extra things here and there. They have also installed a lot of other apps. So as you see, you have F-Droid, Textra, Messenger, uh, and there's a couple of other ones. Uh, if you go to the custom area here, let me show you. Uh, yes. Um, let me show you right here. Settings, uh, go back, custom. There it is. You can add applications on this custom menu right here uh, that are not uh, the regular applications. You can put the regular applications that come with the phone or other ones. You have Aptoid, APK Pure, things of that nature. You can customize this device as much as you want, but I'm going to show you the basic functionality, not everything functionality, because it's Android and because it does bring a pointer and it does uh, work very well. I will showcase in two instances only. Again, I'm not going to go through everything, so I'm not going to cover everything, but it does have the ability to have apps uh, from the Android store as long as you install it, as long as you know uh, how to do it. But it does bring a lot of the basic functionality, if you will, uh, already there. Uh, so it does have WhatsApp right there. You can adjust. And as you see, it does have a cursor already right there. Uh, you don't need to install anything. You don't need to mess up with anything. You probably will just need to adjust the date, make sure that your carrier is supported. Uh, and you can deactivate. Let me show you. You can deactivate the cursor with this key right here. And the cursor went away and then it came back right there. Boom. There, there you go. So it's going to probably go away again. And we make it come back. Perfect. So you are able to operate different apps, uh, such as WhatsApp, such as Messenger, such as whatever app that you need, you know, essentially, because this is a dumb phone and it does have extra functionality because it has Android. Now, they did install a couple of those things, but everything else works perfectly. So, you know, you have the calendar, uh, you can operate everything through the keys. You don't have to do anything that you don't want. Uh, like it doesn't have a touch screen. Uh, it's everything just through the keys. Uh, but the panel is very nice. It's very bright. It can get even brighter than you can see right here. Um, and I personally have been enjoying using it. You also have a couple of shortcuts right here, like the browser, camera, uh, which the camera, again, is nothing to rave about, uh, but it does it does work uh, decently well. Uh, it does have autofocus, uh, so, you know, you can go back and forth and kind of like see the results. Uh, so I will do some of that, right? Uh, you do have a browser, and again, you can uninstall this because it's Android. You go to ADB, learn how to work it, and then you're good to go. Boom, right there. You do have uh, here the inbox, which is the mail and things of that nature. MMS uh, and everything for group settings works. Uh, there's no issues. You can add your groups. Uh, you, you can send and receive uh, common settings, you know, things of that nature. How does it work? Uh, because everything is based off of Android. So it's Android 8.1. Uh, for those of you working uh, it out or trying to find extra information about it. Now, let me show you the settings right here. So about phone and nine, uh, NP 902KC and OS version is 8.1.0. Um, again, you also have data, which does have the ability to install actually a SD card uh, on top of the SIM card that you can do, uh, which is nice. Uh, you do have an alarm. You do have a camera, uh, which I showcase a little bit. We can go back uh, and you can also record video. You have a calculator, boom, very easy to use, very nice. Now you have the settings and for the apps. So let's go to F Droid right there. F Droid and boom, our trusty mouse will show up and then you can select whichever things you want. Again, it's very nice to use, very easy to use. Uh, let me show you what the texting experience looks like. So let's take a look at the texting experience. We're going to create a new one. You can add to address, enter subject, enter the files and enter the body. And here we have triple click, which with the added benefit of 
uh, predictive text if you wanted to, uh, if you want to use it. So right there you have hello, but uh, you can also say my, uh, here, my or may, you can use it whichever we want, or you can just continue typing my, uh, and you can select and then go to the next na uh, name. You can do triple click, name, select, and then go to the next, and you keep going that way. Uh, there's other ways to do space, and you can kind of customize it whichever you want. Of course, you can also load your own keyboard and kind of take over, uh, but that's kind of like some of the functionality that you have. You also have the ability to do um, predictive text here and there uh, with a couple of, uh, again, you have predictive text, you have the ability, uh, you also have a quotation, paste, if you copy a selected area, um, you also have symbols, so if you want emojis, perfect, you have the ability to do emojis, right? Um, and my pictures, or my, oh, it's like little pictures right there, or emojis, I think these are not uh, necessarily based on um, full Android, but they're more like customized. Uh, then you have these, the old emojis, and you also have symbols, of course, if you need to enter them. So you have everything that you need, uh, whatever you need is available through this phone. Uh, you also have create new SMS, things of that nature, and you also have PC mail where you can set up your own email address, which is really nifty to have it both in uh, that category right there. Again, very nice device, very good in the hand, and of course the software experience doesn't disappoint. Um, Again, you can use Aquamail or APK Pure. They load it up with a lot of a lot of these apps, but you can uninstall them. Uh, you don't have to use it in this way, but if you want to use it, I would say is actually very helpful. A um, couple extra tools I want to showcase: it does have a notepad, flashlight, pedometer, weather, FM radio, kanji check, sound recorder, office suite, and battery care mode, which will get your battery to be even better and longer. Uh, with my testing so far, I can say that it definitely lasts two full days with no issues, um, even with medium, uh, moderate use. If you're using it really heavy, you're probably going to drain it to one day, uh, maybe one day and a little bit more. Uh, but you can continue and use battery care mode in order to have better performance. Uh, but on top of that, uh, you uh, have the ability to uh, kind of have dismiss snooze, notifications, earphone connectance, things of that nature. You have an infrared for your TV here in the back, so you can technically use it for that. Um, but uh, the battery is excellent, excellent battery life. Uh, again, I'm very impressed with not only the build quality, but everything about the device. Uh, and it does have an exterior screen. I believe I showcased a little bit but right there, 608, 97%, 14 steps, things of that nature. Um, it does a little bit of everything. And I personally enjoy the device uh, with everything that is actually uh, happening. Uh, very basic. If you want it to be basic, you can uninstall all that stuff or tell them like, no, just send me the very basic device. Or you can put it very powerful and install non-dependent uh, on Google Play services applications. So you can have Spotify, you can have WhatsApp, you can have a lot of things uh, as long as they're not dependent on Google Play or they're not directly from Google. I would say the availability and the ability to install those applications will be probably 100%. It works with T-Mobile here in the United States, and it will probably work with more carriers outside of the United States. So if you've been looking for something that is well-made, it's a flip phone, and it does allow you to have certain apps. Of course, it's not going to be the best experience because, again, you do have to use the cursor. Um, so you have to use the cursor. Then I would say uh, you know, look for something else uh, if you really need a touchscreen. But if you just want something that allows you to have the information at a glance without distracting you, I think the Kyocera, uh, it, the um, 902KC is probably the best uh, to use. So if you're looking for an unlocked device, get it from KyoX. They sell certified devices that are unlocked and they will get you through everything. If you have any questions about this device or any of the other devices that I have reviewed, make sure to let me know. I'll probably be daily driving the uh, 902KC because it's one of my favorite devices so far. The profile, the weight, the everything, the software, it's all there, and I don't need uh, the touchscreen, so that, that allows me to have a good barrier to still have some functionality, but not everything on my phone. Thank you for watching. Thank you for everything, uh, your support to the channel. And please check out the resources in the description and in the pinned comments. Uh, thank you very much. If you have any questions, make sure to put them in the comments and I'll be interacting with you guys. I will see you in the next video.